What's up, what's up, what's up, y'all? It's another episode of Candyology. I am your girl, Candy J. Um, I am a certified clinical sexologist through the Dr. Rachel Institute and the American Colleges of Sexology. I specialize in focusing and putting the oohs and the ahs back into your relationship. I do this by fostering better communication uh, through groups, through one-on-one -on -one counseling, through um, seminars. Um, I also specialize and dating after divorce, infidelity. Um, I do premarital coaching classes. You can always find me on Two's Together Texas. Thanks for the reminder, Patricia. And um, so there's a plethora of things that um, I do. So definitely go out and check Candyology um, coaching services on Facebook, Instagram, or um, the website. Um, guys, it's September. Woo -woo! Um, I know, like we are, how many days into September? Today is September 12th. Um, first of all, um, if you know me, if you followed me for, um, you know, the last, you know, four or five years, you know um, that today is uh, September 12th and it would have been um, Roger Price's birthday. That's my dad. And so we're just going to have like a 30 second moment of silence um, and pay homage to him for me, J you know. It's been a wild roller coaster, but you know, death gets easier over the years. So, you know, I'm doing good. But let's get take this 30 seconds for a moment of silence. And so if you follow me on Facebook, you know I've already put out my memory, my dedication to my dad. Because if you if you know me like I think you know me, if you don't, you need to go back and watch those videos. But <laughs> um, my father passed away four years ago. And if, if he was here today, he would be telling me, you better work this podcast, baby. Oh, but don't interrupt my football game. So... <laughs> Um, I am so excited that September is Sexual Health Awareness Month. Um, and so today we're going to talk about a few things that um, define sexual health and some healthy and unhealthy things. But um, September is also um, National Suicide um, Prevention Awareness Month. So I definitely want to um, give you guys the phone number. Um, that just in case that you need any type of assistance, of course, you can always call me. My phone number is plastered everywhere on social media. It's 972-670-7787 if you need assistance. But, um, you know, if you don't want anybody to know who you are, the suicide prevention line is one 800 273 8255 and they'll get you to a local resource and someone will be able to help you um, know that you are never alone um, no one walks this path alone and and we do not want you to be alone so uh, make sure that you have a support system and if you don't definitely call that phone number and we'll we'll get you the assistance that you need um but September guys let me introduce he not new but I mean he been on here so I mean I'm just saying um, <laughs> So my my co-host today, his name is Elevation. Hi, Elevation. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm Happy, Sunday. <laughs> Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Happy Sunday. Um, so you know, if you've been watching the show, Elevation has agreed to be on the show once a month, and I know it was just two weeks ago that you saw our lovely faces. Right. But um, you know, it's September, so you know, hey. Um, but sexual health awareness. When you think about sexual health awareness, what do you think about? What you think about? Um, to me, sexual health awareness is uh, make sure you're taking care of yourself while having sex. I mean, make sure you weren't wearing condoms. If you know, make sure you're just not out there just giving it up to everyone. You mm -hmm. know. So I mean, be and protect your your spirituality. I guess you know your energy. Mm -hmm. You know, don't don't give it up to everyone because everybody's energy is not good for you. You know. So, so stay healthy with it. 
Absolutely. So that's definitely part of it. Be happy sexton. Uh, uh, ooh. Happy sexing. Mm, there you go. There you go. <laughs> so let me give you the actual definition of sexual health awareness, okay? So it is the physical, emotional, mental, and social well-being. <laughs> and y'all notice every time I say the word emotional, <laughs> mm. he cringes because, you know, you all think sex is about emotions. Exactly. But anyway, um, <laughs> Sexual health is the physical, emotional, mental, and social well-being related to sexuality. It is not merely the absence of disease or dysfunction or infirmity, but is a positive and respectful approach to sexual um, sexuality and sexual relationships. Pleasurable and safe, uh, sex, safe sex free of coercion, discrimination, or violence. So... Um, that, I didn't see no. I ain't hear no marriage or nothing in that. It's just we, we weren't talking about marriage. Just fucking. We were talking about sexual health awareness. Okay. Mm-hmm. Y'all fuck away. This, this is. <laughs> <laughs> what it sound like to me? Because you know? it's okay. when you begin to start talking about marriage, you begin to start talking about morality, right? And you begin to start talking about some some people's religions you don't have to and be backgrounds. Moral single. Huh? You don't have to be moral single. You know, yeah, a lot of people to, don't. It's a choice. You don't have to be moral single. You don't have to be moral single. So that definitely goes back to healthy, health, 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 mental health, right? Physical, emotional, mental, and social well being. Because you even said um, be safe. Yeah, right? wear contraceptives and all that. But, but what's the mental but, to it? But the mental to that is not everybody wants to be safe because they don't care about anybody else but themselves. So there's a lot of people that don't care about themselves. Mm. I bet it's a lot of wrong they, going on. Right, and they don't care about themselves either. So they don't mind sticking their they penis. Or uh, allowing their loose vagina to be all over the place. So why would it be love involved? Why is there emotion in it then? <laughs> if it's that simple. Huh. It's not that simple. Yeah, it is. Oh, we are not going to do, do this emotion. Plus it costs $40. Where? Shit, go down Harry Hines. Okay, right. On Harry Hines. <laughs> <laughs> So that you know, that shoots out the emotional part. Yeah, forty dollars. Married men people do don't this. care. Married about men nothing. do this. Yeah. Uh huh. So how is that emotional? Uh, uh, well, for you, it wouldn't be emotional, right? For that man that's paying forty dollars to stick it in, it may not be emotional. But so you're saying he's going home and he's emotionally sexing his wife? Absolutely not. You think? Do you really think? Because we, I have debated with some great men um, about. Loving their wife and still going out and cheat. No, that's a whole no, 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 other story. no, no, no. Hold it on to the bag and not losing your wife because you're gonna lose the bag. And mind you, I don't know. I don't disagree with you on that part. <laughs> I don't disagree with you at all. What the I'm bag. saying to you is, what happens though? What you're saying and reality doesn't always match up. So you have to be like, it's a respect thing more. It's not just loving your wife, you respect her, right? So you don't want her to know that you are paying $40 for pussy. Mm -hmm. So in, at the end of the day, sex is not a love thing because he would say that for his wife if it meant more. Oh, but we never, but we never I'm just said saying, you know, sex you know, is all about love. I, I emotion is her. love. No. Yeah, it is. It's all day long. Because there, there's a, I can care about you and have sex with you, but not love you yet. I don't, you don't have to care about somebody to have sex with them. I'm telling you, me and a lot of women, okay? And also, uh, not you, but a lot of men. <laughs> I think a lot of men too. I mean, look, you know, I don't, you don't like my word obligate. <laughs> Okay. But that's the choice you make to be obligated to someone, but the sex don't have to mean anything. Right. I think it's very shallow. You think it's shallow yeah, for sex, sex to mean something to somebody? Yeah, because it doesn't last long. 
People but it stop. doesn't just it doesn't come. Okay, so, so you know what we're getting off subject. But hold on, because because I, I, <laughs> I always love this debate. We're with getting you, off though, subject though because we go we gonna stay on subject. We are gonna get back to it in just a minute. But this is also on subject because you don't like the fact that emotional is a part of the sexual health and right. the reason why it's a part it's of right. it. And so let 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 me and let me not speak. For anybody else right now, I'm gonna speak for my own self, right? right our own I'm, I'm just going to speak for myself. Okay. Copyright that. Even though re I've done research, I've talked to many women and men about this subject, but I'm gonna speak for myself. If I am sleeping with a person at this stage in my life, I'm not talking about 20s, I'm not talking about um out there um doing things in my teens, I'm talking about right now at 39 years old. If I am sleeping with you, it is because I care enough to sleep with you. That's number one. Number two, I think we're gonna be together, um, or we're already together and we're on that path to building um, something meaningful. That's me. I'm a, I'm only speaking for me. Absolutely. Okay. Mm -hmm. right. So know that m me, the me's of the world, right. are very they're they're great in number. Okay. Okay. Right. So I just I just want you to know that because you keep on saying that emotion is not a part of sex, but you have it's the not. opposite opinion of most people. So it's okay. Hey, it's cool. We have accepted that but that's I your opinion. I sit and talk to men about this. I actually have guys that we talk about this, guys mm -hmm. that are married, mm -hmm. guys that are fixing to get married. Mm -hmm. It's not, most guys say sex means nothing, mm -hmm. absolutely nothing, because you can go get it from somewhere else. But this is the one that stuck by me mm -hmm. through all this extra, so this is the one I want to keep. Mm -hmm. That's protecting the bag. Mm -hmm. That's why I call it the bag. Mm -hmm. Excuse me if I something no, so good. shallow. But that's keeping the bag because you know this person will be there. You know what I'm saying? Through thick and thin. That one that's over here, you're not gonna let you you're not gonna mix that with what you got going on over here, the good stuff. That's why you over here doing this that you ain't got no business doing because most men say they see the same thing, you know, we visual creatures. So they get bored. And women too, it happens, you know what I'm saying? But sex means absolutely nothing. Okay, to you and the group of men that you spoke to. And we can agree to disagree. A lot of people just don't are not comfortable to talk about it. No, it's not that. It's, it's that it. a lot. And and we already had this discussion <clears throat> on Bigo too. Like you Some people are scared so they may lose people. their wives if they tell them Man. that hey, I I'm interested in somebody else and I want something else and I want something new. And you can't talk to your partner about that because you want something new. You want some kind of new fire and do something. But if you let your wife know, she'd probably be like, Hell no. Leave me alone. And then, really that's when you, then people like me come into the picture is, and I'm not talking as Candace, I'm talking about as a therapist now. Um, that's why people come into my office sometimes because they're wanting to try some things new and they're scared to talk to their partner about it. And now here I am, the mediator between them going, okay, so what what is it that you really want to try? And maybe we take baby steps to get you, you know, we're not swinging from the door right now because that's not where you are. Most is just a face. Huh? Most is a new face. Nope. Like that simple, that shallow. Sometimes, yeah. Most of the time. No. Nope. The people I talk to. You keep saying That's what you hear. It's, it's something different. Mm -hmm. If you if, Just like people have that spark with somebody else. You'd be like, oh, man, you make me feel this way because you're using feelings and mm -hmm. all this. But your partner can be doing that, but you're so used to looking at your partner and being with your partner for so long that... Mm, you may not see that anymore because it's normal. But when you got somebody, a new face doing it to you or a new personality and they're showing you something that's a little different from your partner, it can excite you. Right. So that's when you get emotional and then you stray away from what's important, being emotional, so you make the wrong decisions. Instead of saying, you know what, this is person over here is for me and this is who I need to attend to and find out why. And I don't. I feel like I need to have another spark or some have someone else different. 
And I don't disagree with you that that happens. I see it all the time, right? Right. But I also see way other different situations that you're not addressing, right? So right. I, I mean, don't get me wrong. Don't place this under one umbrella mm -hmm. because it's a bunch of different scenarios, a bunch of different situations, and we can come up with is a thousand hypotheticals of what could and should happen. You know what I'm saying to fix the situation as well too. So don't get me wrong. I don't. I don't just stick on one side. I just you got to discuss the other side as well too. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying. So um, making it difficult <laughs> and not simple <laughs> is, is like one of the biggest issues. Sorry, y'all. I'm so OCD and I feel like that needed to be turned. Oh, they can't see it though. Yeah, I know. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so we're talking about. It was, it was Today, if you have just tuned in, um, we started talking about sexual health because it's definitely Sexual Health Awareness Month. And, you know, again, a part of the, um, a part of the definition mm -hmm. is talking about having pleasurable and safe sex um, free of coercion, discrimination, or violence, right? right? And so when we're talking about porn, like, so let, let's just get this out in the open, guys. It's just that feely part. Um, so, have you watched porn? Yeah, I watch porn. Of course, porn. right, right, right. Who hasn't like, watched porn? So, so Pornhub.com. You I know watch it. porn. Patricia you know has it. her. You can't see her. She, Patricia it. has her hand up. Uh, she's watched porn. We we've all watched porn. You so got your categories. What, what's your favorite category? Hmm. <laughs> okay, so while you're po thinking, point oh, okay. of view, POV, point of view. Tell it's me. like you're there. You know, it's right there. But you gotta find the right one though. Uh -huh. I'm picky, uh -huh. but I don't watch it. What's often. the right one? I mean, you know, you. the right chick. You know, I guess. Mm -hmm. like, you know, do I feel like you know dark skin today? Do I feel yellow bonish today? Are <laughs> you know, we gonna look for the BBW today, or am I going with the slim fit? You know, slim fit with the cute. Right, right. You know, whatever. <laughs> <that was what? laughs> You know what I'm saying? Uh, make sure you know. I, I tell everybody, you know, we masturbate. Make sure it's a, a good, you know, event for yourself. You know, get you the right oil you might need. Or take your time. You know, don't rush it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But I don't watch it often. Mm. Um, here's something that, like, um, I rarely watch it. When, when me and my friends were talking about, like, if you if you said right now, what's your favorite porn? What are you? If you pulled up Pornhub, PornTube, uh, what's that other one? You, Erotica, XX, uh, uh, there's a whole bunch of ones. Yeah, I don't but dig too deep. If you, <laughs> if you were, if stop you were, at Pornhub. If you were to pull stop up right one there. right now, which one? Like, you got. Well, uh, I mean, two if you go through my browser history, oh, uh, Lord, you would not find that. Like no, no, you can pull it up. You, look, you can look at it. I don't, I don't do porn. I don't, I don't yeah, have guys, shit like that. There's no, the, everything on his here is about school. I don't have time for that shit. You know what I'm saying? You can, and my lit, my history list is long. Mm -hmm. And I see. you know what I'm saying? I don't have nothing to hide. Cause you ain't, I ain't, you ain't worried about no porn being, no you will see a porn video in my gallery. I got a son. And he likes to use my phone. And if he come through some things, I'm going to be shocked. And I have to explain things I'm not ready to explain Right, yet. that part. Exactly. <laughs> so my favorite would be um, something that I would never do. a five-year-old? Oh, that's great. But hold on, because that's a whole co another conversation, dude. Like, And it's a good one, too. Anyway, um, like if I was to just pull it up, my favorite, because it's something I would never Ever do? So you got an account? Is gangbang? No, you so, don't have to have a account to uh, go to Pornhub. Pornhub is free. Porn too. No, is I was free. Good, no. I'm just saying, if you had settings and they were saving them, you got to have an account. Oh no, it's not safe. Yeah, you too. You <laughs> no. too deep now. You know what I'm saying? You got to use the name and password nah, on Pornhub. Nah, not none of that. But like, gangbang is my favorite thing to watch because it's something I will never ever do in my life. But it looks great. Like I'd be like, ooh, ooh, and go over there and do this, do this, do that, do this. <laughs> so why watch a gangbang if you don't want to be involved? Because in it. it actually excites me. Like my body's response is excitement. No, oh, because it's like so much to do, I guess. Probably, and so much stimulation going on. You know. Like a gangbang is like a bunch of dudes, right, and one chick. 
Well, the ones that I watch, I usually watch the ones with two people. But a gang, a gang. Do you no, know what a I'm gang talking about is? Two women that they're gang banging. Right, so, right. Like, there's they're two there. women on on a table. Here's one on this table, one on that table, and he is she. He, it's a she line got, of like, dudes. Ten dudes right, around, right, right. ten dudes around, and then sometimes they like do stuff together. That's a sword fight. I don't. <laughs> that, that is not. That is not what's up. Hell no. So, okay. um, can you remember like the first time that you ever watched porn? I didn't watch it. It was in magazines. I understand my age, okay? Mm. Born in the mm. 80s. You know, mm -hmm. first one I seen was magazine. You know, I, I think I had chicken pox at the time. But, you know, my mom walked in on me. You know, I was like, hey, mama. You know, what? <laughs> <laughs> she was like, no. You know, I'm looking at all kinds of shit. You know, titties mm. and pussy. I'm like, wow. Mm. It looks amazing. You know? mm. But then she had to have that talk with us, you know, when I was young. So, I mean, yeah, it's hard explaining sex to a five-year-old. Because she told us everything. My mama drew pictures. And this is what this is. <laughs> this is she what drew your pictures? Yes. Oh, that's good. Because she wanted us to be aware. You know that's what I'm saying? Good. Because, you know, we came home before. You know, it's not even watching porn. But, you know, you, you got some kids that are a little more experienced. And we mm -hmm. was, like, pretty good kids, I guess. Mm -hmm. I was bad in school. But, you know. So you, you had those kids that experience, and you know, we came home one day, and this girl told us if we pee pee in a poo poo, she get pregnant. And my mom was like, mm mm, no, it doesn't work like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, let me go on and sit y'all down, and, you wait, know, because it was two boys. You wait, know what like I'm literally pee pee in your poo poo? Uh -huh. oh, okay. Pregnant. That's what she said, pee pee in your poo poo. I remember that shit like it was just a. <laughs> my mama told us everything. When I say she went down, through the rooter to the tutor, she told us what the white substance that'll come out. They call it sperm. That's what get girls pregnant because it goes through. I mean, she went down through that. Well, that's good that she was. And we was all looking like, what? Right. You know, because we young. We weren't skeeting yet. So we don't know nothing about that shit. I don't know. You know what I'm saying? I didn't, I didn't care too much, but. The little little chicks, you know, that was up the street did. You know, that was our age, you know. They was serious. Like I told you before, you mm -hmm. know, it, you know, we was getting head at five or six years old. That shit is a different experience. Yeah, it's crazy. So what's the difference? <laughs> what's the difference now and then? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> That's a good question. Um, I'm older. How about that? Does it feel any different? I do not remember how it felt at five. Mm -hmm. I'm okay. at 30 years ago. Oh, okay. Or more. Hmm. We don't even have to talk about that. Yeah, yeah. 30 years ago. I mean, I know exactly how many years it is. <laughs> 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 you know, I don't, you know what I'm saying? Now, I mean, it's normal. At first, it used to be taboo. You know, we used to be in school and be like, oh, you know, we ain't eating no pussy. And girls be like, ugh, it's like a dick, you know. But, you get older, you're like, shit, yeah, she's sucking this one. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I don't mind eating a pussy. Mm -hmm. It's just, just eating pussy, you know. Yeah. I mean, don't eat all pussy. Of course not. Don't suck all dick either. Yeah, right. You might, you know, get something around your mouth you don't want, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sexual health awareness? Exactly. Oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I think it's healthy, too. You all should go to the clinic together. Absolutely. We used to do Why? that. I mean, like, if you really want to be intimate with someone, hey, man, let's go to the clinic together. Mm -hmm. And let's make sure. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. Nope. You know what I'm saying? That's and a part as of growing you should. up. Thank you for bringing that out, as you should. Right, yes. I think you should get checked up, make sure you ain't got AIDS, hurt, whatever it may be. Mm -hmm. Go get your test done. Like, yeah. there's nothing wrong. The worst thing you could do is have something and not know you have it. Right. That's would be the worst thing ever. You I know would what I'm agree. Saying? And then you wait till you're damn near dead, and then you find out, and then you're going to have to go back. No telling. Because, you know, AIDS can lay dormant for years, mm -hmm. uh, you know what I'm saying, before it even pops up. So, mm -hmm. I mean, that's why you should always go get tested and make sure you're okay. And that's why you should always do regular doctor checkups at least at least once a year, at least. I women twice. Uh, women twice? Absolutely. Everybody should at least go every six months. And if you're really sexual active switching up partners too, I would say at least every three months, to be quite honest. And it's a lot. I mean, because you it's got. A lot of but think about it. Um, not everybody believes how you believe that sex is for procreation, right? Um, yeah, but but 
but <laughs> we have plenty of people just having sex. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. um, <laughs> plenty of people out here having sex and not always being protected. And so right. that this is um, true. This is normal. So let, let me ask this, this question. Is normal nowadays. Do you think it's normal to watch porn? Uh, you know what? I, what people do in their lives, but everything should be in moderation. Let me say it like that. Even if you, you know, if you eat, you know, you should do it in moderation. If you're a drinker, you should do it in moderation. Mm-hmm. Everything needs to have its own little time. And if it's taking up more time than it needs to, then that's when you have an issue. Mm-hmm. And um, I think porn can be very unhealthy, especially in a relationship. Um, if y'all two are together, because you will lose that touch, that physical touch, and be more of a visual person, um, and want only that attention from wherever device or wherever you watch it from, and that'll make you separate too from that person. Like you, <clears throat> you will want to go and look at porn other than go and look at your woman, and that's a problem. You're looking at something that's not reality, and you have. Reality right there. You got a whole woman. You got in-house pussy, but you want to go jack off? Why is that? There's something wrong. Hey, we need to talk about it if it's an issue. But what if in-house um, vagina is not allowing pussy? you? Huh? Pussy? Yeah. I said what I said. Oh. <laughs> what I mean, if you don't like the word, let me know. You know no, I, I like actually JJ. really love the word, but I am, I'm just using the, because I want, I want my viewers not to get misconstrued about anything that we're talking about right now. Because, oh, but JJ. Yeah, vagina. Mm-hmm. That. Mm-hmm. That part. Um, <laughs> <laughs> vagina. But like there, what if, and here's the issue, right? Right. And why people wind up coming to me about it um, is because you watching porn, right? Mm-hmm. But he's watching, and I'm only talking about some couples because there's very different issues. But I got a scenario for you. Uh huh. Um, so, <laughs> and out. Let me let me do a real life one, right? So this couple came in. Mm-hmm. Um, he's always watching porn. He never wants to have sex with me. Blah 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 blah. I said, okay. So let's talk about it. And so I started asking other questions. Um, so what would you rate your sex life on, you know, a scale of one to 10? And he was like, a two. Okay. That shit trash. So are you still attracted to your wife? Very much so. Mm-hmm. She just sucked. So. That's what he basically said. What seems to be the issue? And he was like, well, first of all, she won't suck my penis. Oh, okay. That's number one. All right. Out of there. Number two. He married um, her? Uh-huh. He didn't know she wasn't sucking dick before then? They, they were virgins. I mean, I'm sorry. She was a virgin. He wasn't. Um, uh, uh-huh. So, um, she said she was going to do all of these things after they got married. Okay? All right. So. <laughs> I'm so sorry. You got set up for the okie doke. Oh, God. All, um, all she wants to do is missionary, which, mind you, y'all, if you know me, I love missionary, but I love missionary for a lot of reasons. But you gotta um, switch it up. Ki- kissing, God. kissing is my thing. I like missionary for that reason. Um, but anyways, okay. I want that body to body. Anyway, um, but he would. All she wanted was missionary. Um, she wouldn't suck his penis. Um, she barely liked getting head at all. Um, when she did do doggy style, she would complain that it hurts. Okay. Because she didn't have that arch. <laughs> she didn't have that what? <laughs> that arch. She was <laughs> flat. I bet she was flat back to the heel. You know what I'm saying? It was this heel that way. So he would turn to porn. And he was like, I mean, I don't want to cheat on her. So I'm just going to sit here and beat my meat and call it a day. You know, I just don't want to cheat on her. And I said, okay. So we just need some sex therapy, it sounds like, because she doesn't, she's not opening up. So by the time I, I was with them for. I don't know, like three or four months. And by the time I got done, she was doing tricks and all kinds of stuff. She had it in her anyway. She, she was had it in it for her. somebody else. She, she's cheating. No, she wasn't saving it for nobody else. She was just being a prude. Okay, so again, that's that's your analysis, but that's not what was happening. Right, right. <laughs> I agree with you. I agree with you. Because now she's was, just doing tricks and shit. She got on very fast. <laughs> I mean, it Why did it take months. you to like make her do that though? 
But because she, she had to get out of her religious mindset. Hmm. She a Mormon or something? Mm -hmm. She was raised like me, where I was taught close your legs, close your legs, close your legs, close your legs, close your legs. Don't do nothing till you get married. Don't do nothing till you get married. But they were not also telling you what to do when you got married. Because they wasn't doing all that when they got married. You got to understand <laughs> their age. They wasn't doing all that. I mean, I have a stepdad. He doesn't believe that his wife should suck his dick. He think it's disrespectful. And I said, well, I guess I'm the most disrespectful <laughs> person <I'm laughs> in I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, girl. <laughs> I mean, I think, but I mean, should. that's because he's older. Though. You gotta understand, he's like seventy-seven years old. Mm. So different times. Absolutely. I mean, you know, and like I said, sex was to procreate, so it wasn't mm -hmm. that serious. Absolutely. <laughs> but now, definitely, it should be a part now, of your. I learned this from a seventy-seven-year-old man. It should be a part of your normal routine to suck that dick and lick that pussy. Okay. Vagina, penis. Okay. So, it should be a part of that. You don't you, have to if you don't want to. I mean, if that's not what your partner wants to do, right? Right, right. But are you going, like, so you going to marry somebody that. Um, no, absolutely not. <laughs> 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 Wait, I didn't know how to finish the sentence. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely not. I mean, you, you're not sucking penis. <laughs> I, you know, I'm going to look at you weird. Right. You want me to marry what? Right. No. And if you're not licking the pussy, it's not happening either. But that shouldn't be a, be a deal breaker, though. Then it shouldn't be a deal breaker either that, that she don't suck me. I don't have to marry her, so it's a choice. <laughs> I mean, if you don't want to suck no dick, I'm so sorry. You know, But it shouldn't be a deal breaker. I mean, so it shouldn't be a Because if she's so good sexy. to you, you know, if she's good to you and all this, and the only thing she don't do is suck dick. <laughs> you might have to take one for the team, you know. You, know, you only live once, so I mean, a chick can suck a chick can suck that dick so good, and then you, you know, right? And she ain't nothing, you know. You like, oh man, she give me good head, and then you come around and she trash can punch. What would you do? Oh, okay. Oh, trash can punch. Define trash can punch. A bunch of unnecessary shit, and all you gonna do is drink it and get fucked up. So how can a woman be trash can punch? Do we have to go into that? Is that yeah. on the subject? Yes. <laughs> because yes. you open the door. No, I'm just saying she can be trash can punch. A dude can be trash can punch too. It's yeah, just but how can a woman A bunch of cheap shit mixed together. So when you do trash can punch, you know, it's like irk and jerk. You know, that shit is cheap. Mm -hmm. A bunch of, ooh, that taco vodka. Mm -hmm. That shit trash. Probably about five ninety nine a bottle. Taco exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, you know, you cut up your fruits and all that shit in there. Just throw all that shit in there okay. with a bunch of different kind of punches and shit. Okay. Cheap shit. You know, what grape drink? Cheap shit. So again, how can a woman be or a man be trash? Like, like I told you, you know, somebody could like actually be the best thing for you, but they don't suck dick. But you can have a chick that's like, mm, sucking that dick, don't gag, whatever the fuck you need. But she don't give two fucks because this is nothing to her. Hmm. And you mean nothing to her. You just, the physical part. Mm -hmm. Okay. And that's where a lot of people get the misconception of sex. Mm -hmm. So, um. <laughs> <laughs> I guess we're moving forward. No. Um, but some of the signs of porn addiction, I think I think that you have some in front of you. Talk to me about one of them. What? what? <laughs> I mean, I, I, no, I, no, 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 know no, I no, always have notes in front of me. I right, no right. Notes. You know what I'm saying? You can be, um, you know what I'm saying? Like we have here, you, you want more, right? Mm -hmm. So some people can take porn to another level. Like some people can stay stable and say, hey, I want to look at normal shit. Well, I mean, you're into the gangbang, but some people might just do normal, like either they're watching two chicks or man and a woman or whatever your sexual preference may be some people take it beyond that 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 limit mm -hmm. and when you're searching for more to give you another uh, new stimulation that's when it's going to start becoming a problem because you're going to keep searching you're going to keep looking 
Nothing's going to interest you until you find something new. And when you find that something new, there's no telling what that something new could be. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? As far as, like, what they call it, um, you know, uh, bestiality. You motherfuckers get to animals. How you get that far until they, they get hard about an animal. Or you want an animal appendage inside of you. Mm-hmm. Why? Mm-hmm. Why is that mm-hmm. something that you feel would be awesome? Like, it, it's something wrong. If, you, if you're if digging that deep into porn, you need to let it go. Yeah. You need to stop um, before you, because, I mean, I hope you don't run around fucking animals. <laughs> so, <laughs> like, for real. Like, so, you're serious. Porn is <laughs> stupid. I mean, understand, you got scat. You know, people shit on people. I, I, uh, come on. Two men in a cup. That's all I got to say. Two men in a cup. Ew. Uh, just Everybody ew. know what two men in a cup is. No, um, some people might not explain. Just the title. Just check it out. Two men in a cup. Can you explain? Two men viewers and a cup. Check that out. <laughs> Listen. I want you to be just as surprised as I was. Oh God. Oh <laughs> Lord. Okay. So, um, some people also watch porn because it elevates their mood. You know, dopamine, serotonin, all of that kind of stuff, right? Well, the brain releases a dopamine. Exactly. Thing. But so, you should get that with your partner. But it can be compulsive because they have they're not getting that high with their partner. Right. So they're getting that high through the porn. That's mm-hmm. sad. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then some people have a very high sex drive, right? And um, okay, so you know, I'm never. You know how many subjects this is going to take us to? I know. Okay. So <laughs> I don't mind. Making sure mind. you're okay. <laughs> so, so I, you know, I'm never afraid to use myself. I have very high sex drive. I, if I was not mentally stable, I could have sex seven days a week, three times a day. That's not mentally stable. I can have sex seven days a week, three times. But here's the unstable part. If I was demanding that from my partner all the time, mm-hmm. that's the unstable part. If I was us- utilizing toys every five seconds, if I was watching porn every every five seconds so I could get off, all of that. <laughs> Did you that have to vibrate? That would be the I hope everybody's seeing no, my reason. That's what it's But like in a relationship, I'm going to go. Okay, let, what, what, how many can? How, how? What's 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 our, what's your limit so that we can get shit done, right? Because right. you having sex seven days a week, three times a day, you can't get shit done. No, right? no, no. There's too so, much porn in. Like previous uh, in a previous relationship, it was okay. Let's at least have sex twice a week. Cool. All right. I can get down with that if I need an extra day. I got toys. I can handle my. Why is it planned? I don't under. Is it always planned with married people? Like, all right, this how many days we having sex in a week? What the fuck? Well, sometimes it be it begins. I mean, spontaneity is great. I'm I'm very spontaneous, right? But mm-hmm. sometimes it begins to be okay. We have routines. We have kids. We have jobs. We have all this other stuff, and so. You know, at, at minimum to satisfy one partner. Usually, it's one partner or the other that's like, okay, at minimum, I need at least one time a week, two times a week, whatever the case may be. The other partner is like, oh, okay. Most of my married couples are like that. Um, it's one or the other having a high sex drive and a low sex drive or a medium sex drive where it don't match. So they come to an agreement. Okay, at least we need to have sex at least one time a week. <clears throat> Open my ass over in the in the bathroom one time. I least. think that's what make it really difficult though. You know, when you have somebody that has a high sex drive and they're in a monogamous relationship, it should be that sacrifice that you know you satisfied him. You didn't think they had a high sex drive when you first met him. And I agree with you. I mean, you have to know. I, I think a lot of people miss the reality, especially in marriage. If you have a healthy husband, he's gonna want to be on you a lot. Uh, I mean, just I mean, and then, <laughs> I'm just saying he gonna want he gonna want it, and then if he go outside that boundary because he's not getting it at home, that's an issue. Right. But I mean, that's not right for him to actually go outside the home. Right. But um, like I told you at first, I have somebody I know that he watches porn, but his old lady despises that shit. You know. And if he get caught masturbating, he he looking at her like his mama just walked in. And I'd be like, 
why are you tripping? Mm -hmm. No, in my eyes, you know, I'm like, mm -hmm. bro, you in your house beating your meat. You should be okay. Right. You know, and if she walk in the room, Go you should be it. like, baby, do you want to sit on this? Right. Go I'm having business. Right. You know what I'm saying? I'm having business. I got one. <laughs> got one up. You want to lay it down? You know? <laughs> I mean, that's how, but that's how it should be. I mean, it, but you know, when you scold a man about something that, you know, he's trying to do, and he's not really, I mean, I, I understand that he take it as like, it's, it's kind of messed up because, you know, I'm not taking this time to do this to my wife, but I'm trying to make it. You know, gonna get this out the way. You know what I'm saying? And um, really, his thing is he's like, man, it's just at the end of the day, you know, I always don't want to go through the motion. You know what I'm saying? You're like I have to initiate, or I'm like, but you got to talk to her about that. And if you try to initiate and then she's not initiating, you gonna have to say something. And I said, if she's, uh, and if you watching porn, I said, dude, don't be so alarmed. If you cool and copacetic about it, if, if you walk in my room. And I'm beating my meat, and you my woman. I'm gonna be like, baby, come on. Maybe you want to put the puts in my face. I don't know. You to bring the titties over that. here, son. All of that. Come on, sit on my face while I'm beating my meat. I don't know. Mm -hmm. You know, make it interesting. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Absolutely. But a lot of people shy away. You know, a lot of people shy away from doing things like that. And I'll be like, dude, be open. You never know what works. Right. You know what I'm saying? If you say that, if she walk in there and see it. And she gonna stop and look. I mean, that, that's the dick. It's a hard dick right there. You know, it's a woman. You know, that's what y'all been doing for years. But I mean, uh, that could be some kind of spicy thing too. Even if you was watching porn, you can be like, "Oh shit, I ain't gotta watch it because baby, you walked in here now. Mm -hmm. What are we gonna do now? If she's not receptive to what you're doing and going about our business, then y'all need to have another conversation." Yeah, because even what you're, what you're crazy. saying is so true. Because I, 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 I was telling one couple, I said, if you, if he's walk, if you walk in and he's doing that, why don't you go play with your pussy in front of her, well, in front of him? Oh, I'm go. sorry. Uh, <laughs> go play, go play yeah, in front of him, I can't handle. and see what happens. Um, right, like really. And, but here was her thing. Here goes back to background. Right, she was so ashamed. To play with herself because it was taught that masturbation was wrong, right? But you know, some people, even if it's not taught that it's wrong, some people just have that insecurity, mm -hmm. and you know, don't want to, don't want anybody to see them, especially if it's even your significant other. Mm -hmm. They, because they have something within them, they feel I'm not comfortable with myself to even do this in front of you. Cause they don't feel like I'm sexy. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That, and that's where and, it comes and see, from. I'm a natural. I'm. This is my mirror. Okay. Yeah. Hey. Nasty. <laughs> Nasty. <laughs> but I've been playing with it since I was a kid, right? I know. How, I know my body, and I know what what works for me. And so I, that's the things that I instill in other women. Have you never looked at your vagina? What do you mean? Yeah, you had to stare at that mother. Go, go. I don't care if it's your cat. Go look at that. Open them legs up and look at that thing, girl. And one, one person said, oh, it's ugly. It's ugly. Okay, but it's yours. He must like it. <laughs> so mm. change your perception mm. of how you think of that vagina. <laughs> now, if you have an ugly pussy, then you can do Listen, about that. Listen, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, okay? So. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> Yes, ma'am. What makes it ugly? So, now, now let me tell you. <laughs> me tell, I was waiting for that question. A I'm lot of people. Make it look ugly. I, I'm sorry, y'all. I have not to this day met a pussy that looks the same. Uh -huh. To this day, so every everybody has their own distinct pussy. So. Right. right, right. Nobody is the same. Right. No one. I've yet to see one that looks the like. But mm -hmm. you have those that may look a little scraggly, you know, the lips a little too long and they hang and droop. And, you know, you got, you know, you got the two lips, you know, you got the outside lips and then you got those inner lips, you know, and those some bitches may be wings and a lot of people don't like wings. Um <laughs> <laughs> I'm one of them. I, I can't say a lot of people. You know what? You might love the wings, but me, no. I don't. I, I like everything compact together, and nice. You know, I all the the hangy baggy pussy shit. I no, that is no, no. I stopped talking to it. I actually did not have sex with a chick because her pussy looked ugly. I was like, mm -mm, that's not right. 
It had to go. It's just, you know, it's nothing personal. I mean, it's the same way with chicks of uh, circumcised and uncircumcised men. A lot of chicks do. If he's not circumcised, they'd be like, uh, uh-uh, uh, do mm-hmm. that. You know, and yeah. and it's under, everybody had a preference of what they want to do. You right. know what I'm saying? But um, okay. there are such things as ugly twats, pussies. The character, the vagina has its own the character. character. <laughs> I mean, you know what? You know, <laughs> hey, she can be cute. I mean, no, no, she can right? be cute. That don't mean her pussy is pretty. Like right. but, but the face right. don't make the pussy. Then I'm just I, oh, saying, you said characters. Like our face has certain characters. Right, right, characteristics. Right, so right, right. Certain, yeah. right, certain looks. Over, yeah, you know what I'm saying. The, yeah, yeah. You can have a big clit. You right. know. Mm-hmm. Uh, or your hood sticks out or it doesn't. Yeah, it could be a lot of that. Right. So, the so but the only thing that de- deters you was the big wings. Is that what you're saying? No, I don't know. I didn't fuck it. Yeah, he won't. I did he not won't fuck even it. give it a chance. I didn't give it like a chance. Wings. I mean, maybe those wings in the <laughs> The way you folded your damn arms, like this. Oh, uh, that's wings. Oh. I, I guess uh, that's what it looked like to me. I know, um, but I'm just saying, maybe those wings. No, I did not want to. I didn't want to put my dick in there. I felt like she might have been doing some extra shit. She didn't have no business, and it got like that. That's just my personal business. But what I don't if she know. was just born with wings? That sounds like a personal problem. <laughs> Not for me. It's not, you know what I'm saying? It's not for me. You know, I mean, just like somebody that's born ugly, you can't take it away. You know, it's just you're born. You're born that way. It is right. what it is. Mm-hmm. I mean, live with it. Somebody love you. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's yeah. the truth. I'm sorry, y'all. Yeah. Hope somebody love my ugly ass. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What? <laughs> what? Wait a minute. Wait, what's different? A man Women, we're not we're not going by all your character. We go by something else, and we'll love that gray nose hair. That's so there. you don't look at. That's not our first thing. The dude. We oh yeah, you do. If you're not attracted well, we, to him, you're not going to talk to him. It's more than looks that makes us attractive. Right after you talk, after you talk, and you see if he speaks, you know, Maybe. good English. Now I, I will agree. <laughs> I, have, like I have several friends that are just like. I don't even care what he looks like. I want to see what his conversation is about right. first. Right. That's what the, right. what they say. However, I always uh, feel uh, like you have to be some type of physical attraction. You have attracted to. Or it's to not going to work. Right? It's not going to work. Like, here's my thing. Like, if you have nice eyes and beautiful lips, I'm like, oh, I'm interested. Let's talk. Let, let, let's see. But see, you, it's see. something that attracted you to okay. have the conversation. Mm-hmm. Right. Now, after the conversation, you're going to make another decision. Mm-hmm. Would I fuck him and continue to cut? talk to him mm-hmm. it's gonna be those two things mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying and then when you get to the fucking it's, it's what you want it's what he got you know is a dick big enough or the, the high the, what he, you know it's just all that extra crap that you're gonna run into anyway we always judging and looking at characteristics from beginning to end mm-hmm. so i mean right. mm, just a give and take type of thing yeah so i mean have you have you had sex with somebody that has an ugly penis i don't know what an ugly penis is hold on <laughs> okay. I can't help you in that area. <laughs> well, unfortunately, uh-huh. mm. circumcised penises look the same. <laughs> they, I mean, the only thing that's different is color, mm-hmm. um, size, mm-hmm. texture. I don't know. I just threw that in there. I don't know. I just threw it in there. I don't know. But they all pretty much, only thing that may be different are are ball sizes. Right. But for the most part, (laughs) all penises pretty much, if it's circumcised, it looks pretty much the same. Got the little. Nah. Oh, yeah. Only thing that's different is size and maybe shape. And girth. And girth. Yeah, but other than that, they look the same. Yeah, pretty uh, much. Unless you got a disease. Well, one, dicks are right. simple. Or, you know, like she said, circumcised one. Yeah, yeah pretty, pretty much look the same. same. Pretty much. Mm. Mm. Now, what mm. gets me is smell, though. Like, everybody has a smell, no matter no yeah. matter if you if you think it's a stinky smell or a good smell. Mm-hmm. It ha- everybody has a smell. Look, were you talking about like a natural odor? Yes, a natural odor. Mm-hmm. So what did that determine? You're like, were you talking about like if you sweat? 
No. Like so you, your sitting odor after you got out the shower? Odor? Like, okay, so for instance, so for instance, this Because I'm a hair person, right? You know, I, I don't mind. I, I shave everything. Mm -hmm. So I don't understand now. So I had a, a man that he got out the shower, he had washed everything, right? But he had this. It, I, it, it, it's like a. It was like a. Like musk, body odor. A, a, musk. a musk. Like a natural body odor. But yes, a natural musk. It's a strong. But it's strong. Musk. And it was a deterrent yeah. for me because if I can't go down on you and not. Gag, like, and not gagging from your dick. Um, I'm gagging because of your <laughs> sins. Jesus. Then, no, it's not going to. Work. So, it's something coming out of his pores, basically. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, most people that smell yeah. like that are either drinkers or. Smokers. Yeah, smokers. Yeah, like, he was neither one. Actually. Or not, you know, don't eat very healthy. Yeah. Um, that I don't. Definitely could have been it. Not you know, because that part. can come out if you sweat. You know. Right. right. But, uh uh. I mean. Oh no, I mm -mm. Mm -hmm. I don't. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. No, yeah. Mm -hmm. no. I shouldn't have to smell it unless you put some scent on it to make it smell better, which I would be worried too because what are you hiding from me? Nah, everybody has a natural scent, right? And like, nah. uh, yeah, everybody, nah. everybody nah. has a natural uh. scent. I ain't smell no fucking pussy that I fucked up. Like so I ain't had no wrong with your yes. olfactory glands, baby. These motherfuckers work well. <laughs> Somebody stank. I'll be like, what does oh, this smell? Oh, okay, guys. So we we really gotten <laughs> off of yeah, we topic, have. but I'm okay with it because we can always pick it up for part two. Um, you lost but, time. Is another subject we could use. Yes. Okay. So no, bring that on though. You've lost time, right? So you are sitting around doing absolutely nothing, doing nothing and jer but jerking off. Right. But really. This is what I would say. I think people would sit there and they, man, um, let me use me. So when I used to um, watch porn like heavily, you would say if I had to be somewhere in 15 minutes, I can get three minutes out there 15 to be my meat. And you're going to waste probably another three to four for finding the video you want. Hmm. And then you're going to click it. And then you're gonna get done. Then, then you're gonna be like, "All right, cool. I got ten minutes, so I'm gonna go and get ready now." Huh? Yeah, like that. That's <laughs> like it's like that. That simple. But when you you gotta understand, like when people do it right. So how was explained to me? The brain, like you said, dopamine. The brain releases a dopamine, so that becomes becomes addictive. Uh -huh. So it's almost like a drug, right? You know how you get high or whatever. If you whatever you're drug, if you're doing a drug, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're looking for it. But if that high does not continue, where a lot of people can get lost is they could be on a video and be like, you know what, this is not good enough. Mm -hmm. So then they're gonna waste more time and be like, I yep. gotta find one. Mm -hmm. Let it play for a little bit. Oh, that ain't shit. Let me find another mm -hmm. one. You know what I'm saying? And then oh, before you look up, if I'm going to right, it. right. Yeah. And then if you look up, you're like, oh shit, I'm late. Right. You know why you late? Because you were sitting there on your phone and you thought you had enough time and not evaluating mm -hmm. your time. And this comes as far as like getting projects done. Um, some people feel like they can't relax without doing it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. And that's when it's really, really, you know, you really going, you're, you're on your way to a bad path. And, um, you know, and you'll see how it affects your relationships too, because you don't, you're not used to physical touch anymore. You know what I'm saying? Because I would rather look at this motherfucking phone. Now me, I'm not a big toucher. You don't, I don't do a lot of PDA, but you know what I'm saying? When I have my, if I'm, you know, I have my moments where I, you know, Hey, hey I just lay on you or whatever. That's cool. But you know, just being under me all the time, I'm not, it's not big for me, but when it comes to your partner, you're going to have to be more physical and porn takes that physicality away. Yeah. It, and it, it also sounds it like porn diminishes impulse, it. impulse control as well sometimes too. Right. Yeah. Hell yeah. You mm -hmm. get upset. Mm -hmm. Um, if you, especially if you couldn't get to it, I mean, um, people could get upset. People could actually get angry, you know, and then they're leaving just to go do it. Now, I, I ain't never done that shit before, but I'm just saying people can be aggressive that want to watch porn and you don't understand why they frustrated or agitated, but really they just want to go to the restroom, get one off and come back and be like, 
oh, got that out of the way. Mm -hmm. When at the end of the day, you can replace that feeling with something else. Sometimes you just have a, a lot of energy and you need to put that shit to somewhere. Go and run. you're Yeah, mm -hmm. go work out. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Go to the gym. I promise you, you'll stop all that shit. Because mm -hmm. most of it, it's just like smoking. When you have a habit like that, most of the time and people smoke a lot, you're bored. Right. You need something to do. So you'll choose, you know what, I'm going to smoke me a square and I'm going to go back to doing what I think is a constructive. <laughs> oh, my bad. Smoke me a cigarette. You know, go back to see what's constructive. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, and it's a, you know, and you turn it into a habit, you know. Right. So cause that means that now you're going to need it, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, when you don't need that at all. Right. And I think if uh, some people that are, you know, trapped in this mode of, hey, I'm watching porn and I don't know how to stop. If you don't know how to stop or nor have the willpower, you know yourself, willpower to stop, go talk to someone. And this is something that people need to learn to talk about because this is a issue in life that you trying to handle and if you can't get a grasp on some things call somebody right there's somebody out there that'll talk to you about it but also they some people were not for taught for not taught self-awareness self-control um right. some people were not taught that there are resources available to you i mean some people like black households was like keep everything in the house don't don't take nothing out we don't want nobody else in our business mm, nah you need God. help no you need everybody <laughs> in your business Shit, you need Everybody in your business because they see how you you walking around in these streets, right? You know, you know what I'm saying? And so, um, but definitely, guys, tune tune in. Um, for the rest of September, I'm talking about Sexual Health Awareness Month. I'm also talking about PCOS because um, I live that. Um, I live that, so we'll talk about that on the 24th with PCOS. another uh, friend of mine that also has PCOS. Could you um, tell the fans what PCOS is? Polycystic ovarian syndrome. We'll get into it. We'll uh, we'll talk about exactly. It camera, That's what I said. Um. So, <laughs> um. But, um. Tune in. I believe the next one is next Sunday and on the twenty fourth. And I also have a great couple coming in. And I I want to say it's hashtag relationship goals because they are a blended family and they have made that shit work and it, they are a beautiful couple. So, anyways, um. Again, I will see you guys in the rest of the month. Elevation will be back um, in October. You can also catch us Bego Live on Tuesday nights uh, with two other co-hosts. So if you don't know what Bego, I'll drop that in the link. Um, mm -hmm. And I'll and come you know, check us out, yeah. come check us out because we we just keep it real, you know. Yep. So um, every Tuesday night at seven p.m. Central Standard Time. Um, but this has been your girl Candy J, and you've been watching Candyology, and I'm wishing you love-filled days and uh, orgasmic nights. Have a great day. Thank <laughs> you.